Yes, that is the greatest challenge for legal education today. How does one produce or find competent and committed teachers for transforming legal education uh, into a format in which the graduates will be practice ready? Which means that the deficiency or the deficit that we see today is about lack of adequate skills training. Now, in order to teach these skills, we need actual practitioners of law, not academicians of the conventional type. They are available, but how do you bring them and make them effective teachers in a law school setting is something on which we have to experiment and innovate a great deal. We have, for example, the system of adjunct professors who can come not only from uh, practicing lawyers, it can be those legal administrators in the bureaucracy or in the private sector. They can come as adjunct professors and co-teach with a regular teacher on matters like role play or group exercises in which you can simulate and then enable the students to have a feel of uh, learning by doing. You know, this is something which I want to little elaborate. Uh, we are trying to do it in the law school as to how we can have the blend of practitioners, the linkage between the practicing profession and the academic profession for the benefit of better teaching of skills. Uh, you know, uh, long ago in England, when the legal profession was developed, uh, there was no college teaching law. Uh, people who wanted to be legal practitioners used to join an inn of court where the barristers and the solicitors were doing the work of what a lawyer is doing today. An aspirant to join the profession will join an inn of court, observe what they are doing, imitate them, participate in their deliberations, their transaction work, etc., accompany them to the courts and uh, learn step by step over a period of time, maybe five to eight years, before you are declared a barrister. In other words, learning law was as simple or as difficult as learning swimming. You can't learn swimming by reading a book on swimming. You have to get into the water and start practicing. Or a carpenter learns carpentry. Or a plumber learns plumbing. Similarly, the lawyer used to learn by learning the skills by participating in the activity rather than attending a class on theoretical understanding of law. Now, today we have come to a stage where the theoretical understanding will have to be blended with the requisite skills to be able to apply the law to solve a problem. Now, to organize this, we need different types of teachers, not merely teachers which uh, UGC recommends an LLM with a net qualification. Well, that doesn't make a teacher, in law at least. You have to have some practical experience. Now, some people say that, well, allow a full-time teacher to practice law also. That does not solve the problem completely. You can have a legal aid clinic, perhaps, in the law school, wherein we, under the supervision of practicing lawyers or retired judges, you would be able to involve the students on a variety of paralegal activities involving research, uh, fact gathering, fact analysis, uh, documentation, uh, writing, legal writing of petitions, drafting of contracts. A variety of things can be learned around the legal aid clinic. The clinic need not be in the campus. It can as well be off campus or you can organize it in a lawyer's chamber if possible. I, what I mean to say is that the new type of a law teacher to be able to discharge this challenging task is to be a cooperative activity, which I would recommend should be organized under what I call a lawyer incubation clinic. A lawyer incubation clinic in a professional law school must be headed by a retired district judge or a retired, say, experienced lawyer, or any other legal practitioner having a large uh, experience of different types of legal work. Now, he must be a full-time director of the lawyer incubation clinic. 
and he must be assisted by a couple of assistant professors who have also some exposure in uh, for example if such a clinic were to be there then even students of the final year uh, llb program can prepare and argue cases in a consumer forum where you don't need a licensed practitioner and arguing a matter before the consumer forum preparing it and developing your advocacy skills will be a great learning experience like that preparing a petition and appearing before a collector for some legal grievances to be uh, remedied or before any other administrative authority these are tasks which can be done provided the student is under supervision of a proper experienced person in other words the faculty need to be reorganized to be able to do these uh, skills and the skill training should start right from first semester through the 10th semester in a five year program and whatever can be absorbed on the first semester for example i can tell you when i started the national law school at bangalore the first year student fresh from the higher secondary school was asked to do a project for nearly 30 marks and the project was on a topic like a day in a police station or a day in the stock exchange we didn't tell them where is the stock exchange what is a police station like you over a period of 2 months visit as many times as you want interact with as many people in the police station or the stock market or elsewhere and give us an understanding of what that institution is doing who are the characters there what are the procedures that are followed there the student the first year student does by the end of the sec- third second month or third month first semester gives us a 20 page report that is the learning of skills legal method course you can have a legal writing course on that uh, similarly as the student proceeds to the second semester third semester we give him some more complicated problems which will require partly empirical analysis and partly library research in the course of the five years he develops legal research skills legal writing skills communication skills negotiating skills apart from that we have specified courses as you know in the civil procedure and criminal procedure we have a lot of practical training skills introduced partly through internship uh, during the vacation period uh, if it can be properly organized that is a great learning experience i think you know what we call uh, clinical legal education is something which we borrowed from the medical education the medical student right from the second year uh, is learning medicine on the bedside of the patient where the senior surgeon or physician goes and uh, diagnoses the disease prescribes the medicine or recommends other types of treatment the student every day doing it over the whole year learns the practice of medicine under the supervision of the senior physician on the bedside of a patient we borrowed clinical legal education from the medical education field and said similarly a client coming to a lawyer with a legal problem the lawyer tries to analyze it with the help of his own experience on factual investigation and legal analysis etc and you participate in it ask questions by trial and error over a period of time while you are still a student you will be able to organize those skills imitate and practice it therefore clinical legal education is a indeed a great learning experience we call it learning by doing and today with what you have in the in the uh, program that you are organizing you have the online facility where a virtual classroom can be created by technology and if it is organized the way that you are doing a uh, many of the skills which otherwise would be difficult to organize in a classroom setting can be organized through this technology which is learning skills if you want to be a legal practitioner even this will not sort out all the problems but as technology develops you will be able to have video conferencing you will be able to have uh, A, a several methods whereby one could learn some of the skills by participating in this sort of uh, online uh, 
uh, experience.